Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of March. Now your first card here is the Seven of Swords with the Knight of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, whoa, the Three of Swords, the Six of Wands, Seven of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Magician card. Wow, okay. What's going on, Sagittarius? All right, so off the bat, there is going to be a feeling of uncertainty with those people around you, uh, specifically when it comes to partnerships. Um so what they're saying is that your current situation, there's a lot of things that are being kept in the hidden or people deceiving you, uh, not being completely honest or transparent. Now, the obstacle here is the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups could represent um, love blinding you or trusting the person or putting your trust on the person that is not deserving of it. Now, the past and passing, we have Five of Swords. Indicating to me a lot of arguments, misunderstandings, envy, uh, or jealousy being around you or your partnership. Um, now, this could be uh, this could be connected to, as an example, work-related type of energy. Um, but I feel that they're being more pulled towards uh, relationships. So, for some of you guys, it's going to be in regards to romance, while others may be uh, people around you or the people you work with. Now, the energy crowning you is the Three of Swords. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, there's going to be almost like a feeling of betrayal, uh, a feeling of not really trusting, uh, especially if it's either partner, a partner that you're not trusting. Um, it could be your partner, the person that you're married to, the person that you're dating. Uh, but it can very well also represent uh, family members or people around you that Okay, so what they're telling me here is they're telling me two different scenarios. For some of you guys, uh, it could be a representation of like family or family members around you uh, that perhaps are not okay with the person that you're dating or they don't fully accept the person that is in your life. And I feel the reason for that is because they've seen um, like toxic type of energy or they've seen the way they treat you. Uh, and I don't think that it's, as an example, I don't feel uh, that those around you or your family dynamic, family friends uh, type of energy that are against this partnership, I don't feel that they're coming from a bad place. I think that they're just looking out for you, Sagittarius. Uh, but I do feel that you're taking that for granted. And at the current position, the obstacle here is love blinding you. So... Here's the thing. What they're saying is when it comes to finances, be particularly careful because I feel that this person is portraying something they're not. Uh, this could be a person that comes off extremely confident. This could be a person that is very good with words. If they come to you, as an example, if you just started dating this person and they're starting to ask for help when it comes to paying their bills or uh, they are bringing up the conversation about finances or monetary type of help. Reserve yourself. Don't be quick to say, oh, how much is it? Or of course, or let me see if I can. Don't don't be quick to try to save them. Um, and the reason I say this is because I do feel that there is some they're not being completely honest about their feelings towards you. I think that it's more of what they can gain or what they could get from you uh, versus it being something that is true or authentic. And the reason I say that is your advice card here is the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is, you know, are you being hopeful? Are you being too hopeful? Um it's scattered energy, but it also indicates lack of accepting or lack of really not wanting to see exactly what's going on 
or what's unfolding. And it's like you're refusing to see them for who they really are. Now, with the eight of swords here, there's a, a feeling of stuckness, a feeling of, and this is the energy of the partner, the person you're dealing with. The eight of swords is being stuck. So if you're in a position of feeling stuck or you're being restricted and they're coming to you for some type of assistance, it's better for them to be transparent and be honest. Um, you know, to genuinely be authentic and to say, you know what, I'm really struggling. I'm really going through difficulty. Um, but if this is a relationship that just recently happened, if a person is coming to you out the, out the gate and they're asking for financial help, that should be red flags, Sagittarius. So don't be quick to fall into that, assuming, um, that they're willing or that they're wanting to bring to you something long term when they themselves are not stable enough. I hope that makes sense. Now you do have here the magician card next to the four of wands. So these two cards together is symbolizing to me the opportunity or in March having the opportunity uh, of giving the opportunity to a person. This could be a uh, fire energy like yourself. I feel more it could be an Aries or a Leo type of energy. Um, that is wanting to approach you or that is authentically interested in you. But I feel that you're still dealing with either an ex-partner or you're going to an ex-partner because you feel restricted, uh, because you feel perhaps that there's hopefulness in the relationship, perhaps that you can salvage the relationship. But what they're telling you is you have progress coming in Sagittarius um, for the month of March going into April as well. Um, and this is connected to new ties, new beginnings. But you're choosing or you will be tested in having to choose between a new life, a new pathway, or going about it the way you have been up until now, which is trying to save people that don't want to be saved. Um, so I think that for this month, it's going to be important for you to be selfish and be selfish in the sense of putting yourself first. Um, don't try to help or save anyone if you're, if you yourself are trying to find stability. Okay. That, that's basically what they're saying here. And you need to be very practical about this, uh, because I do see that there's people around you that they're not being true or genuine with their intentions and they're only coming towards you or trying to convince you of something because they're trying to get something out of you. So what, what spirit is telling you here is see them for what they are or for who they've been. If up until now they've done nothing but set, like let you down or deceive you, don't give your trust. Don't give your heart out only to end up getting it stabbed all over again. I hope that makes sense. Um, now for those of you guys that are currently trying to pull away from past relationships or toxic relationships, I do see you making progress in March. Um, I do see a, a, a new energy and this could be, they're telling me new, but it could represent someone you've already met or someone that is already in your surroundings. It could be like a friend of a family member or something like that. Um, that is really trying to pursue you or trying to get to your attention, um, but it could be that the fear of being hurt or the fear that you've been hurt before, you don't want to allow them, um, to hurt you again, basically. Uh, with that, I feel that what spirit is telling you here is, you know, when getting to know someone or when even wanting to welcome love into your life, you have to be open to it. You have to, because that's the only way you can then bring in, um, new people, new circumstances, new situations. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean, hey, trust them blindly. You know, whatever they tell you, trust them one whole, wholeheartedly. No, people have to earn your trust. And it's okay to feel like they have to show you uh, with practical means that they can, that you can trust them or that they can, uh, that you can rely on them or that they're trustworthy people. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. But again, if this is coming directly from a person that you're dealing with that is already asking for pay, uh, for papers, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to say that, but hey, maybe for some of you guys, this, this can mean something. Um, 
if they're trying to ask for favors already and you know you've only known them for about two three weeks i mean that's a big red flag okay uh you cannot expect someone to bring stability or you know uh romantic emotional stability if they themselves have to work on their own life because their life is not stable okay so i hope that makes sense to you guys I hope you guys make the best decisions for this month. And again, if even if it means that people call you selfish, it's okay to be selfish sometimes, Sagittarius. You got to look out for yourself. No one else will. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.